Call in the troops, ramp up security, get your defense ready. Because today we're talking about the immune system. The immune system is so important. It protects your body from harmful substances, germs, and cellular changes that can make you sick. It is made up of various organs, cells, and proteins. We are going to discuss one specific way to give your body's defense system an extra boost. Many of us have immune systems that run so smoothly that we don't even know it's there. However, without our immune system, we will have no way to fight off harmful things lurking around outside or inside our bodies. So how does it work? Firstly, our immune system needs to detect threat signals. One of the signals is called PAMP or PAMP, which stands for Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern. The other is called DAMP or DAMP or Damage Associated Molecular Patterns. Imagine inflammation after an injury. It is a sign of our immune system responding to molecules originating from damaged organs, tissues, or cells. Anyway, our immune system detects PAMP and DAMP using an array of pattern recognition receptors and becomes activated, all of which help our immune systems function and handle what is thrown at it on a daily basis. This is obviously a simplified explanation of certain aspects of our immune system, and there's so much more complexity than what we have explained. But for that, we will include further sources for you to learn about the immune system in the description. Now we know that a strong and healthy immune system seems to be critical for those who contracted COVID-19. Now may be as important as ever to start thinking about efficient ways to achieve a healthier immune system. According to Harvard Health Publishing, making healthier life choices can improve our immune system. Things like eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, maintaining a healthy body weight, getting adequate sleep, minimizing stress. But there's one other thing that may be pretty helpful when it comes to improving your immune system. And I'm sure you guessed it, molecular hydrogen. If you're new here, molecular hydrogen is also referred to as H2 or hydrogen gas. And it's picking up steam around the world for its therapeutic benefits. You can learn more about molecular hydrogen by clicking here. Hydrogen gas is being used in hospitals to aid with COVID-19. And the preliminary results are extremely promising. You can learn more about that as well here. But back to the immune system. One important way to have a healthy immune system is to have healthy immune cells. And to have healthy immune cells, you need to have healthy mitochondria in your cells. Mitochondria are cellular organelles that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power cellular biochemical reactions. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in small molecules called ATP. So basically, mitochondria are the part of your cells that produce energy. One specific way hydrogen supports the immune system via the mitochondria is something called immunometabolism. Immunometabolism is an emerging field that investigates the interplay between immunological and metabolic processes. It describes the changes that occur in the intracellular metabolic pathways in immune cells during activation. To put it more simply, immunometabolism is the relationship between the immune cell's cellular metabolism and how it affects its function and participation in the immune system. In other words, immunometabolism is where the way our cells produce energy and our immune system intersect. This source specifically discusses that the alterations in the macrophages cell's metabolism is a key feature that dictates macrophage function and subsequent disease progression. And macrophagia is a specific type of white blood cell and is very important to the immune system. So what this means is that by adjusting or influencing the way these cells produce energy can alter their function and the way they handle the disease. You may be asking, what does all this have to do with hydrogen? Well, let's take a look. In this study, we see that H2 is able to suppress mitochondria oxidative stress and damage via the reduction of superoxide generation and reducing membrane potential. More importantly, the study demonstrated that hydrogen was also able to rectify the flow of electrons along the electron transport chain within the mitochondria. So basically, H2 was able to go in and reprogram the metabolism of the cell. This effect of H2 holds great potential for immune cells, as H2 may enable our immune cells to work even better. Here is another interesting study where it says, our data demonstrates that the allergic airway inflammation is associated with an energy metabolic pathway switch from oxidative phosphorylation 
to aerobic glycolysis. Hydrogen inhibits airway inflammation by reversing this switch. Hydrogen regulates energy metabolic reprogramming by acting at multiple levels in energy metabolism regulation pathways. In other words, hydrogen reverses how the cells produce energy during an inflammatory response, which in turn benefited the lungs. Both of these sources provide evidence that H2 may benefit our immune cells and our immune system via the mitochondria or its effects on immunal metabolism. These are just a couple of ways that H2 has been shown to benefit the mitochondria. I bet you're wondering, what are some of the other ways hydrogen can benefit the mitochondria, aren't you? Well, you're in luck, because I'm going to tell you in a short and simple way. H2 protects and reduces mitochondrial damage. H2 reduces free radical production within the mitochondria. H2 increases mitochondrial biogenesis, which means it helps to make more mitochondria. H2 rectifies the flow of electrons along the electron transport chain. H2 prevents the decline of the mitochondrial membrane potential. H2 improves mitochondrial dysfunction. H2 restores mitochondrial construction and function. H2 may reverse metabolic energy production during an inflammatory response. H2 improves mitochondrial efficiency, improving ATP production. So what does this all mean in a nutshell? That by hydrogen benefiting the mitochondria in our immune cells, it can benefit our immune system altogether. This is just one way we chose to highlight how H2 may benefit our immune system. There are many ways H2 may benefit our immune system due to its effects. So in closing, hydrogen seems to be a very promising intervention for this topic. And it may be one of many reasons H2 has been demonstrating positive effects for COVID-19 patients. Remember, the first line of defense is making those healthy lifestyle choices. So what do you think? With the evidence I've given, do you think hydrogen is worth adding to your lifestyle? This video was recommended and endorsed by Aquila Global or ECMO International. We want to take a second to thank our patrons who support us through Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding platform that allows you to support your favorite creators. We can use your help to support H2 Minutes to continue to make these videos at a higher quality, disseminating the information centered on molecular hydrogen. If you would like to support what we're doing at H2 Minutes, check out our Patreon page. And if you would like a shirt like this one, check out the description to figure out how to contact me about that. And that was your immune-boosting dose of H2 in two minutes.